Now, there are plans to boost the visibility of women's cricket by the introduction of an Indian Premier League style 2020 tournament to be launched in Singapore late this year. Female cricketers internationally earn a lot less than their male counterparts. Take for example Australia, the elite contracted men earn a base annual salary of between $496,000 and $1.9 million. Australia's world champion women cricketers were given a pay rise last year, but comparatively their base salary varies from $4,600 up to $49,000. But it's recognized that they and England's team are better paid than female cricketers in other nations including India, Sri Lanka and South Africa. Former Australian all-rounder Lisa Staleka is one of the people behind the Women's International Cricket League. It would see top players earn up to $37,000 each week, each over a two-week six-team competition. We spoke to her earlier in Sydney. Yeah, there's a lot of work behind it. Obviously, being a past player um, to kind of almost start a business, there's a lot of uh, information, a lot of meetings that need to take place. I guess the main thing for us is that we need to, to get out the message that the women's game is growing, that a lot of people are playing it globally and a lot of people are actually um, watching it. So there doesn't necessarily, there, there hasn't uh, seemed to be a lot of content available at the moment and we want to provide that. Now for that to happen, obviously it takes money to, for it to occur and, and uh, if, if we can get some team sponsors, some team owners um, and also some um, the competition sponsors, uh, we can definitely get this up and running and, and we can't wait and I know the players can't wait to play as well. I believe only uh, in Australia and England they're the only ones providing salaries that players could live on. Um, the rest of the countries they're providing um, some retainers or, or some minimum contracts but girls are still having to juggle um, work commitments to, to pay the bills, to, to pay for rent, living costs the things that, that everyone else has to deal with. I think it's going to allow for the first time um, the girls to actually play with other opponents that they're used to facing against each other. I mean, we've seen in the IPL uh, different teams, different nationalities. I think that's, that's helped the game internationally grow and the standard improve. And I think, I think by allowing you know, the girls to play in a similar tourma tournament, that will, we'll see that the, the standard of the women's competition will improve. Not only will the standard improve, they'll get access to different coaching staff that they normally haven't been exposed to, um, and they'll get paid. Uh, and that's what we're working towards. And, and like I said before, we're working with ICC and the national boards to ensure that there, it fits in um, a, a calendar, a window that doesn't conflict with any other tournaments that they're playing in, and it just adds to what they're trying to do. And, between all of us, we can help grow the game and everyone has a, has a role to play.